Hello friends, welcome to my channel. It's me again, May, and in today's video, we are going to do an unboxing of my very first Hobonichi planner for 2023. So next year will mark my fourth year of living here in Tokyo, and to celebrate that, I decided to completely go with a Japanese planner this year, and this will be my very first time using a Hobonichi Techo planner, so I'm very, very excited. So first, let's start with this cover. I bought this at the actual Hobonichi store here in Tokyo, which is called Tobichi. I have the receipt right here. So I got this cover for 3,000 yen. I was really lucky to get this because this was the only cover that I wanted. When I went to the shop, I wasn't really hoping to get this cover because on the online shop, it was marked out of stock and that it will be restocked sometime in February to April for the April start. I went into the shop uh, with a plan that I will just ask the staff to give me the sample cover and have me buy that instead if they don't have anything in stock but thankfully um, they went to the back office and got this for me instead I'm really really lucky and I want to show you what is inside so So this particular cover is a collaboration with Tokyo National Museum for their 150th anniversary and it's based on an actual painting that I'm going to put up here. I decided on this cover because yellow is my favorite color and I love the illustration of the butterfly on the cover as well as the gradient uh, color. And when you open the cover you have some pockets here. We have the information about the painting I was talking about. So it's small white butterfly painting and we have the Hobonichi card over here. Oh, so this is the first time I'm using a Hobonichi Techo, so I really appreciate some special notes here. So that's really nice. They also have it in Japanese at the back. So here you can see TNM, so the Tokyo National Museum. And we have more pockets here on the right side. And this is what the back looks like. So here we have another pocket. So I decided to have an A6 planner because I know that I will be carrying this with me every day. And initially I was thinking about the week's planner, but when I saw it at the store uh, two weeks ago, it was just too narrow for me that I know I wouldn't be happy with a space and let's open this first. So since I was already using a traveler's notebook passport size, I know that I'm going to be comfortable with this size. So I got the Hobonichi Techo Planner, um, one page per day in English and January start. So this is what it looks like. It looks very classy. I love the cover. I love how light it feels and the cover is relatively thin but it feels sturdy. The texture is really nice as well. I heard so many times that Hobonichi opens flat so that's the very first thing that I want to try. Oh wow, it really does open flat on a surface. Like, that's amazing. So I got the English version because I wanted to be able to read the quotes on every page. My Japanese reading is not that good and I won't be able to read the kanji. So in order to fully appreciate the planner, I decided to get the English version. So for the first page, we have the cover that says Hobonichi Techo 2023. We have a calendar for 2023 and 2024. So I plan to use this as a habit tracker and I'm going to show you the setup in another video. Here we have some monthly logs that start in December, which I'm really excited about because I can make some plans over here and I don't have to wait until January to do that. And this one goes all the way to 
March of 2024, which is really good. About the paper, it is very thin and it kind of makes me nervous because I'm not sure how my pens will perform on the Tomoe River paper, but I am going to do a pen test of that as well. Um, I'll show you that in another video. Here we have a monthly calendar for December, which I'm again very, very happy with because I want to use this immediately and I want to make plans here. So we'll do that in the next video. Um, here we have the calendars that goes all the way to, I'm hoping, until 2024. Okay, it does. I like that. What I don't like about the 2024 monthly planners is the huge block of numbers here. It's kind of distracting, but that is really not a problem because I'm thinking that around that time I would have already been using a new planner. And it goes all the way to March. So another exciting pages that I have here is a turning the page to a new year. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with this, but it's probably going to be a mood board of some sort or some goal setting pages for 2024. And here we have coming up for January. So this page is nice. I can make a running list of the things that I have to accomplish at the beginning of the month. Here we have some pages per day. So I'm excited to fill one page per day because I have been doing that consistently in my Midori journal anyway and I know that it's something that I am able to do. So I like that it's dated and you see the face of the moon on the top. Uh, there's a section here on the left side that clearly divides morning and afternoon and here in the bottom I can write what I ate for that day and we have the code written at the bottom as well. And here at the bottom right side we have a mini calendar. So the daily pages go all the way to December 31st and it's then followed by some dotted pages. So the dotted pages I'm going to use that for the pen test in the next video because I really want to test my favorite pens and my favorite highlighters to see how they will perform on the Tomoe River paper before the actual planning. So the next pages are for important contacts. I like the international size charts for blouses, shirts, shoes. They even have it for hats, you guys, and rings. So that's really nice. There's also a conversion table for length, area, weight, volume, and a mini ruler here, which is really nice. I love the attention to detail. I'm not sure about the habit that I want to keep next year. But I like this 100 list, so perhaps it can be 100 books or 100 movies, I'm not sure yet. So there's an express yourself in Japanese, which is nice. So like waku waku for excited. They have many illustrations as well. After my pen test, I plan to doodle on these. There are expressions for when you're having fun, for when you're feeling blue, and others. <gasps> wow! There is a guide to Japanese sweets, and let's see if they have my favorite here. They do. So this is what I was talking about in my journaling video, Taiyaki. It's one of my favorite Japanese desserts, and I love it. I really like the illustrations and I'm going to paint on these drawings as well. So at the very back, we have a page for personal notes. I am going to be filling this out privately. And then at the bottom of this page, we have some contact information for the Hobonichi. And I like that every Hobonichi is unique and there's a Hobonichi Techo serial number at the back. That's a really nice detail. And that's it. So let's now put this planner into its new home. Right, and we have a couple of bookmarks here as well. So what I'm going to do is put one bookmark on the monthly calendar and then put another bookmark on the daily pages. 
yeah. Sadly, we do not have any daily page to use for December just yet, but this makes me want to look forward to the first day of the year. Right, so I have my receipt here and the cover cost 3,080 yen and the planner cost 2,970 yen. So I also got the free pen and bag. Let's check the pen. Right, so this is the free Hobonichi Techo pen. Uh, it comes in three colors. Oh, we have black, blue, and red. So I really like the combination of this blue and brown, although I'm not sure if it goes well with my planner. I also got the free bag. The texture is really smooth and I really like that it says 2023. To be honest, I'm not sure how I'll use this. So I'm just going to keep it aside for now. And let's go back to the cover. So I did not stop with the cover. I also got myself a cover on cover because as you can see the color is very light and I'm pretty sure that if I carry this around especially at school it's gonna get chalk it's gonna get dusty so I really wanted to get a cover and cover for that purpose so this is what I got um, this cover is um, Kaba on Kaba okay this cover is 220 yen Nothing fancy, just a clear cover. Um, here on the right side, it says Tools and Toys by Hobonichi. All right, that's nice. It fits perfectly. I really like it. So the cover is really high quality. So it's a thicker kind of plastic compared to the wrapping that we have here or even the wrapper that came with the cover on cover. So although it was a bit of a struggle to fit the cover into the cover on cover, wow. <laughs> It was just okay and I wasn't worried about ripping it or anything. What I really like about how it's designed is that you have two pen holders. It automatically locks your notebook in place and I love that. That's very smart. So let's move on to the pencil cover. I got the Animal Crossing design. To be honest, I'm not playing Animal Crossing anymore. I don't think I have visited my island in months, like maybe more than six months. But I really like the design and you can clearly see the villagers just hanging out. It makes me want to go back to my island and play again. I like that there is a tab here at the top. So it also acts as a bookmark. Let's see, put it right here. You can see the tab here. There isn't much contrast between the tab and the cover of my notebook. So sorry about that. The Animal Crossing pencil board cost 440 yen. So in total, my purchase at the Hobonichi store was 6,740 yen for the notebook, the cover, the pencil board, and the cover on cover. You guys, so going back to the cover on cover, I just noticed this. So I really like that there's a Ziploc a pouch over here for the cover and cover because when you put the cover on cover, on the cover, you can no longer access this pouch. Okay, but they remedied that by putting a Ziploc pouch over here, which is really nice and it locks. So my biggest concern with using the A5 planner is 
the space, of course. Like, what if I get a really busy day or um, I want to write a lot on that day? So my solution to that are these Midori A6 refills. So I got a pack of three of these refills. They're grid. Let's open this. So I got three notebooks. Here are the classic muted grid lines on Midori paper. In comparison, Midori paper is significantly thicker than the Tomoe River paper. So I'm gonna have to get used to using thin paper like this. So going back, the plan is for me to carry one refill and put this over here at the back just in case I need to add some notes or... Wow, that does not fit. That does not fit. Okay, put it back. Pull it out. Okay, that's that was tight. So... So the plan is for me to carry this around just in case I have busy days. Let's see if we can put this here. Okay, that fit. So it fit at the back, but um, just barely. So I'm not able to just barely and I am not able to close the zip lock anymore so that's okay so I wasn't able to fit it here and I didn't want to ruin the actual planner so this is going to be the setup for now it made it a little bit uh, heavier but that's fine at least I can go on my day knowing that I have extra pages over here. So this marks the end of this video. I hope that you like my Hobonichi planner unboxing and I hope that you will join me in my next Hobonichi planning videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!